back tonight. Went through all the drills today in pregame. And he takes one deep to left field. Welcome back, Carlos Correa. Upper deck shot. And the Astros tie the game at one on Correa's 11th of the year. All right. <laughs> Guess he's well rested, huh? My goodness. How about the bombs that the Astros hit here at the Coliseum? They don't get cheapies here. They drop bombs. And you know who's accustomed to that is Daniel Mangan. The last four home runs, five home runs now, have been the prodigious type. I think the shortest home run he gave up back against the Texas Rangers was 395 feet. Everything else, 400 plus. And that one off the bat of Carlos Correa. Evan Gaddis goes deep to left field. He's trying to follow Correa into the upper deck. A little bit below the second deck, but it's 4-0, four, 4-1 four, Astros on the three-run home run by Evan Gaddis. Smash session going on here. My goodness, are the Astros teeing off. There's a certain level of comfortability for the Astros in this ballpark now. That wasn't true in the past. 13-14 were some tough times, much like we talked about in Arlington. But here in recent days, especially 2013, coming in here already this season, they are 3-0. And they are trying to give Lance McCullers a large lead on some large blasts. A big lead here as Evan Gaddis will lead things off. It'll be Gaddis, Marwin Gonzalez, and Max Stassi. And Evan Gaddis has done it again deep to left field. This ball is gone. Evan Gaddis. His second home run of the game, his fifth RBI of the game. He matches his career high on back-to-back -back nights. And that makes the AL MVP crack up because the caveman is red hot. Man, oh, man. The beard is strong with that one. My goodness, he just matched... Carlos Correa for the team high in RBI. <laughs> and Pinder sends one deep to center field. That sends Beriznik back to the wall. And this ball is caught by Jake. Up against the wall in center field. Trying to get back is Olsen. He is out. Double play is turned. Raymin Goudouin is fired up as Jake Beriznik may have saved a home run. And in the process turns a double play. Incredible play by Jake Marisnik. Hasn't been much fun offensively, but he has not given up on the baseball, elevating to take away a potential home run. And then the relay, Marisnik to Kemp to Yuli, double play. Wow. Wonders how long baseball can go. I'll get going. If you have a shift and a guy hits one very far, it doesn't matter. Brian McCann hits a two run home run. I've got breaking news, Todd. What's that? Big story. What is happening? McCann Bowl. Five to one Astros on McCann's fifth home run of the year. Good to see Brian McCann hitting that baseball over the heads of everybody, and that's a definitely a way to beat that shift. He knows he's had some hits robbed over his career with that shift being employed. That ball's hit hard, deep to left center field. All the way back, El Monte looking up. Grand slam, Evan Geddes. And the Astros take a 6-3 lead. That was in the beard zone. Beer the beard. The caveman delivereth. That'll be the last batter Jacob Junis faces. As Evan Geddes, who struck out twice against Junis on breaking balls, Hits a grand slam, second of his career, and the Astros lead 6-3. Back with more after Tony Kemp gives him a hunk for home runs. To the left-handed side, but you almost don't want to do too much. Max Dassey deep to left field. Alex Gordon won't get this one. Three-run home run. Max Dassey, and the Astros now lead 7-2. Yuli and Marwin score in front of him as Stassi hits... Home run number six of seven on the road this season. Maximus. 
We mentioned his first time up, a lefty pitcher, and on the road was a good combination for Stassi. <laughs> yeah, the unverified. Top. That ball's deep and forget about it. Alex Bregman, his 10th home run of the year, and the Astros have 10 runs on 10 hits as Bregman hits a three run home run. Looked like he was telling them that he was going to put a pretty good swing on Bert Smith in this inning, and he absolutely did. Alex Bregman is slowly working his way up to the RBI leaders. Royals leading the Astros 4-3, to three, and the new pitcher is Brandon Maurer. Did you see this movie before? Yeah. Didn't end well for the guys in the light blue shirts. On Friday, Correa looked at a 3-0 fastball for a strike and then hit 112 miles an hour the next pitch. And he goes deep to left field. He's done it again. Carlos Correa ties the game by hitting one into the Astros bullpen on a 3-1 pitch. We're dotted at four. Uh, just like two nights ago, Correa took a 3-0 pitch, expecting to get the same pitch on 3-1. He did, and it, the same result. In a tie game, the Astros have a guy at the plate who already has 22 runs batted in in the month of June. Batting with second and third and nobody out against the left-hander Tim Hill. There's a base hit into right field. Scoring is Guriel. Marisnik being held at third. Evan Gaddis another RBI and the Astros lead this game five to four. Well, he just keeps coming up with base hit after clutch base hit. There's a rip into left field and that's down for a hit. 6-4 Astros on the RBI single by Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin's fourth consecutive hit as a right-hand hitter. Since 1990, only four teams have had undefeated road trips of 10 games or more. The Astros could make it five if Rondon can close it out. He does hit one sharply right at somebody. Bregman to Altuve. Altuve jumps and makes the throw. And the Astros finish this road trip off with a perfect 10. Sweep the Rangers, sweep the A's, sweep the Royals. A clean sweep for the Astros. Away from Minute Maid Park, they have not seen the L column.